Hey guys, Gilly Paws with the Red Star Pilots Association. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the shimmy damper and uh, how to rebuild it, how to know if you need to rebuild it, and uh, what goes wrong. So this is the lever that is inside. It has a spline, as you can see, and uh, it actually is designed to shear if the wheel, uh, you know, is turned too hard. Uh, or it gets a big shock. So it'll shear right off and then the shimmy damper will look like it's in place, but it's not doing anything for you. So we're gonna talk about that today. If you're getting a pretty bad shimmy on landing, especially at high speed, then it's probable that your shimmy damper has failed, either because it is low on fluid or because the internal arm has actually sheared. So take a look at it, disconnect the lever arm from it and wiggle it back and forth and see if it's moving kind of like this. If it's moving this easily, then either it's completely out of liquid, which is going to be pretty unusual, or the arm inside, in fact, has sheared. So this is what the new internal arm looks like when it hasn't sheared off and uh, you can get this from cj6.com uh, and use it to replace. And here inside you can see the arm is actually sheared off. So that's the shaft completely sheared. So this is the gear. This is the shaft and it's sheared. So that's gotta be replaced. Everything's clean. I'm gonna get a replacement kit with new seals put it back together and it'll work. One of the important things is not to just reassemble the shimmy damper and reinstall it. You have to actually rig this so that the pistons are exactly in the center when the arm is attached and when the wheel is centered. So you know, bounce the airplane, you know, from the tail if you need to, to get the wheel perfectly centered. And then you can start the rigging process. With no fluid in, with the caps off, what you want to do is make all the adjustments back and forth on the spline shaft until you find that with the rigging that you have, the pistons are exactly centered from either end. There's also a turnbuckle on the side that you can adjust to get everything exactly centered. When you're satisfied that the arm is positioned on the spline shaft in the right position, go ahead and mark it before removing. When you compare the old arm to the new one, you'll see that the old one has a groove that's been filed out of it for holding it in exactly the correct position with a bolt. You're going to have to make that groove on the new arm. After carefully marking the new spline shaft, go ahead and start filing it in the proper position. Now you will reassemble all the parts, refill the shimmy damper with 5606 or an equivalent fluid, and then reinstall it on the aircraft. Be sure everything is installed correctly, all the nuts are tightened, cotter pins are in place, and the fill cap is safety wired. One of the trickiest part of this whole project is just refilling the shimmy damper with the 5606. It cannot be done on the airplane like you can on a yak because the filler hole is on the side of the shimmy damper. So it has to be done on the bench and it has to be done slowly and it takes a little bit of patience because you got to get all the air bubbles out. Good luck. If you need help, feel free to reach out. I hope this was helpful.